So what's the secret to success in Napoleon Hill's book, Think and Grow Rich? I'm going to explain that to you coming up. Here we go. Hello everyone and welcome, my name is Jacob Lethbridge and on this channel I focus on motivation, inspiration and drive that you need to succeed in your life. If you're new to this channel and want to see more videos just like this, consider hitting that subscribe button. So this week I really want to focus on how you can write a goal card, the importance of the goal card and why you should carry it around with you everywhere you go. The first time I heard about writing a goal card was actually from Bob Proctor. He said that if you want to succeed, you have to carry a goal card with you. The only problem with that is that I didn't know how to write a goal card. I had read Think and Grow Rich a few times at this point, and I still wasn't grasping the concept of how to write a goal card properly. And the main thing is that I didn't know what I wanted. So when I sat down to write the card, I had no idea what I was supposed to write on it. Now, Bob Proctor, he talked about when you write a goal card, you have to keep this thing in mind. You have to keep what you want in the present tense. So when you start your goal card, you have your piece of paper out or you have your index card out, whatever you decide to write it on, you have to start with the words, I am so happy and grateful, now that. When you write it like that, you're saying to the universe, this is happening right now. I am so happy and grateful right now that this is happening in my life, that I'm creating this in my life. And when you do that, you're going to start to see dramatic changes. So for example, one of my goals is to say, I am so happy and grateful now that I'm easily earning an extra $1,000 a month net income. See, it's nice and simple, to the point. You want it to be something short and sweet so that you can easily remember it in your mind even if you don't have the card physically on you. Now the reason you want to carry the card with you at first is because you want to make sure that every time you put your hand in your purse or your pocket, you're touching that goal card. And when you touch that goal card, you're going to reinforce that goal in your mind. Why do you want to do that? Why is repetition important? Repetition is important because it's one of the only ways that you can reprogram your mind to achieve new levels of success. It's the repetition of ideas that makes them stick and makes them become a new part of your paradigm or your habit pattern. Now, I want you to think about what you want. That's the hardest part of this, is thinking about what exactly you want. So, if you want to increase your income, how much do you want to increase your income by? If you want to attract a soulmate, what kind of qualities are you looking for in that soulmate? Whatever it is that you want, really think about it in hard detail. Really think about it in the way you see it happening. And then get your piece of paper, write out the statement, I am so happy and grateful, now that and then write your statement out. Make it something short and sweet and to the point because the longer it gets, the harder it's going to be to remember. So if you make it short, you'll be more likely to remember what you want and you'll be more likely to recall it in your mind. So if you like this video, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Also, make sure you check out the links in the description below for lots of resources that you can use to help get you to that next level of success. See you next week. Bye-bye.